uh, still here on the polls, the rule of law must prevail. That's the declaration of the Attorney General's office shortly after I seen North MP James Jachi Kwesi responded to charges leveled against him. He's accused of forgery and perjury. It will be recalled that the High Court in July 2021 announced the Asin North parliamentary election, saying Mr. Quayson was not eligible to contest elections. Mr. Quayson has since been legally fighting to set aside uh, with the matter currently pending at the Court of Appeal. The Attorney General's office, uh, office actually this year filed criminal charges against uh, the legislator, Mr. Quayson's uh, leader. Uh, in Parliament, Harun Idrisu as well has been questioning the procedure used by the AG's office to serve the MP with court processes. It's about the law and about respect for the constitution of Ghana, which is the Grunom and our highest law. You had the justices of the Supreme Court themselves at the last hearing state emphatically and strongly that the manner of service was unconstitutional let me put it out quite clearly that at no point in time has it ever been the intention of the Honorable Jackie Payson or the minority not to be accountable to the law. What we have sought to question is the process and procedures allowing us to be accountable to the law and to respect the fidelity of the law. The same Honorable Jackie Payson was arranged before a CID investigation panel. So ask yourself, how did that happen? They came through properly, through the speaker, and he facilitated that. So if you wanted to serve him, the easy thing to do is to come through the same route of the speaker in accord with the constitution on how civil and criminal uh, uh, processes are served. That is all. Uh, indeed, he was in the chamber on Friday, and therefore if anybody says that they don't know what to do, what to do is to pass through the office of the speaker. Speaker Alban Bagben will not shield any person or say anywhere that members of parliament, we are not above the law, we are accountable to the law. But uh, is it for nothing that the same constitution says that when the president is in office, there shall be no service on him even in criminal matters? Must we disrespect that? Must we? So it is about respect for process and procedures. Now, what we have seen happen in court, uh, very significant for me, I had a deputy attorney general state that mere reference to Article 942A of the Constitution, that's significant, mere reference, yet it is part of the charges against Honorable Gekki Kwesen that Article 942A is now even for their purposes merely referred to. So what are they seeking to do? Because 942A is the heart of eligibility. It's at the heart of any trial, whether civil or criminal. And uh, it's important for you to note that at no point in time this honorable Geki question hide from the public and the Ghanaian people as to the fact that he had denounced his citizenship with Canada and was in the process of obtaining the same. What we do know is that he was validly and impressively elected by the people of Asin North. I just pray that they are not using the courts to tilt the balance of power and to do what the electorate refused to grant them to do at the elections. Thank you. Well, there's a response coming through from government. Deputy Attorney General Alfred Tia Yeboah says the state is simply applying the laws of the land. Satisfied with the bail condition. For all the cases that we are prosecuting against members of parliament, we realize that they were giving self-recovery science bail. But in this instance, the court said 100,000 with justification. We are satisfied with the conditions. Mm. But in terms of the politics surrounding this case, I mean, there are issues being raised that your office is unfairly going after members of parliament who have really not committed any crime. In this instance, they said that there are various aspects of the case that are pending at the civil courts. That argument is not tenable. Even if you have a specific matter, one is criminal, one is civil, nothing stops the prosecution from initiating actions to prosecute the one born on crime. So far we are concerned, if conducted our investigations, it matters not who is involved. If a member of parliament and you've gone contrary to the laws of Ghana, the law must deal with you. If you are a minister of state, a deputy minister, if you are any other person and you go contrary to the laws, the laws are there to deal with you. So the argument that it's a member of parliament and that for that matter, 
we are just pursuing some members on the other side. It's neither here nor there. The simple proof is that rule of law must prevail, and that's what we are doing. In terms of the process of service, I mean, in terms of the investigation, you served him through the speaker. How come for this particular court process, uh, they say that you didn't use that process? The police tried using that process. They were getting frustrated. Based on that, we came back to court, and pursuant to orders of the court, we were served by substituted service. So you find nothing irregular with that nothing process? Nothing irregular about it.